In this lesson, we want to create such a, such a disk project that some cloner object going through that and it's moving into this pipe. We are going to create that pipe with the cloner, the lofted, the rapid on a spline, then give it to the random to its movement, then give it a dynamic to that, and we create this cloner object and give it a dynamic and a random, and they're going through this pipe and we can create this project and we use a cloner and the effector to create such a this interesting thing without any k-frame it's a nice let's do this interesting project okay this is our path that we uh, we want to that clone object through the pipe let's create a pipe we can model the pipe simple with cloner it's nice this is our pipe change the direction in this direction so we need another pipe that is smaller than first one and simply as i said before you can clone them both under a cloner nice then we need just a linear mode not in this direction yeah it's nice as you can see if you increase the number of the count you can create your simple pipe and simply you can assign it to the loft and boom our geometry will be created and in the loft go to the cap turn the cap on its start and end because we want to uh, bring objects through that and as you can see we have a long poly you can go to the object and mesh segment in the U and in a way now we have a nice pipe we want to wrap it on this spline so we need a spline wrap spline wrap this loft make them all alt g to group them and then the spline wrap uh, the direction is nice it's in a direction make it a bigger to cover the object whole object nice <clears throat> and then it's tell us which spline do you want to wrap on it. This is spline, nice. And simply with a changing the from and the end, you can create your object like this. Nice. Or you can offset it anywhere that you want. Nice. And everything is done. It's a time to create a cloner. This is our cloner. Make it a small. You can assign some material to that <clears throat> it's material nice this is our first you can assign second change its radius nice second material to that and you can use another cloner clone them both on the cloner in a cloner we set it to the object which object that is blind nice distribution even a lot of more and of course we need random in position you can create your vector random nice <clears throat> we need more nice you can increase the amount of the radius that's nice and we need add to dynamic it's very simple go to the cloner tag bullet rigid body and if you play everything is exploding and we want to um i explain them more but you can go in a dynamic in a collision in a force make follow pass in a position and they're not exploding they're staying in position and i i like this position nice make the frame increase it or you can use push apart effector but we want to kind of uh, intersect with this pipe so go to the dynamic set initial and if you go back it's from there nice and i want to this movement 
It's very easy. You can assign the rate to that and all of the objects are moving. Nice. A little more faster. <clears throat> nice. And I want to add another dynamic to this pipe to uh, connect with this other. So we want to go exactly through that. So go to this loft, right click, bullet tag, collider body, and play it. Oh, as you can see, I think we have a problem because I think I have to got it to the cloner. Test it. No, we have a problem. Uh, what is that? Effect is incorrect. <clears throat> let's, 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 let's assign it to the D's. They are passing through that. So, I explained them more, but you can go here to the collision. Static mesh. Yeah, it's static mesh, moving mesh. I think something is wrong. We did add to the children, individual element, all second level. Let's fix that. Okay, I don't know why, but uh, we make it editable and then assign the collider body to that. I have to think about that. What's the problem? And now, as you can see, there are going through that we can go to the cloner and make count down some cloners nice they are going better to that okay now you can go to the sphere and make them smaller going all of them through that nice and uh, after that we are going to <coughs> uh, simulate that uh moving that pipe the pipe is moving for example so we can simply assign uh you can assign the random effector directly to this object random effector here in a random effector you have to deform point object no point not such a this big i think it has an issue with that and in a random make it to, for, to moving that noise let's see no in this case i think we have a lots of no it's nice let's change the position no in this case i can it's not good and now you can see we have a movement to our object it simulate that the, these balls are connecting to that moving as you can see it's nice or you can do any deformer that you want Nice. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.